Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel for a video lecture series on number systems. In this video, we will consider yet another numerical on binary fractions to decimal fractions conversion. The given fraction, binary fraction is something like this. The task is to convert this number into its equivalent decimal fraction. So what is the process? How do we, uh, how do we start writing this answer? So I recommend you to watch this video till end so that we we'll learn the trick and we we'll learn the method so that we can convert given any binary fraction into its equivalent decimal number without any mistakes. So let me consider the number again. So let me write the number uh, one more time so that we will start with the conversion process. So this is uh, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. So this is the integer part. At the fraction part we have point here we have 0, 1, 1, 1. So the same number I have written with the enough space so that I can uh, add up with its equivalent decimal number and I can uh, sum up this uh, stuff. So first let me consider uh, the number here. This is 0. I multiply this. I said I multiply this with 2 to the power 0. 2 to the power 0. Similarly, I will multiply the second digit with 2 to the power 1. Are you following? In the similar way, I need to process uh, further. So next, I will multiply this number with 2 to the power 2. Correct? I will consider the next number, next digit, that is a 1 here. I will uh, multiply this with 2 to the power uh, 2. So let me write the same thing, 2 to the power 3, sorry. This is 2 to the power uh, 3. So next, let me consider uh, this digit and I will multiply this with, what is the answer? It must be 2 to the power 4, correct? And similarly moving further, this digit with 2 to the power 5. And uh, the next digit I will consider, I will multiply that with 2 to the power 6, correct? And I will consider the next digit, I will multiply this with 2 to the power 7. Is that okay? So now I need to convert them and towards the end I need to sum them up all. I need to add them all so that I would get the right answer. So I will just write the addition sign so that we can sum up all the numbers so that we will get its equivalent decimal number. Correct? So whenever we are multiplying now, just write, I'll just put a straight line so that we can understand it much better. So this is what we are doing now. Yes. Yes, almost done. Yes, next what I do is, I'll consider 0 into 2 to the power 0. So I'll, I'll leave this number. I, not, I do not consider, I will not consider uh, this number. Because 0 into any number turns out to be 0 only. So I'll, I'll just leave this. So I, or else I can uh, write uh, 0 over here. So let me write 0. Plus... 1 into 2 to the power 1, 2 to the power 1 is 2 into 1, I am going to get 2, correct? Plus 0 into 2 to the power 2, 2 to the power 2 is a 4, 4 into 0 turns out to be 0 only. So I need not have to consider uh, considering this. So I will write 0 again. Plus 1 into 2 to the power 3, what is 2 to the power 3? It is 8, 8 into 1 turns out to be 8, correct? Plus 0 into 2 to the power 4. 2 to the power 4 is 16. 16 into 0 turns out to be 0 only. So I will not consider writing this number. It turns out to be 0. Plus 0 into 2 to the power uh, 5. What is 2 to the power 5? That is 32. 32 into 0 turns out to be 0 again. So I will just have to leave this. Even though I consider it turns out to be 0. Correct? Plus 2 to the power 6. 2 to the power 6 is 64. That gets multiplied with 1. So I'll consider this number. That is 64. Plus the last number. 2 to the power 7. 2 to the power 7 is 128. 128 into 1. I'll consider this as 128. So what is the uh, answer I'm going to get now? 128 plus 64 plus 8 plus 2. So let me consider uh, simple calculator for that. And uh, let me add up all the stuff. That is 128, the first number, plus 64 is the second number plus 8. We have got only 3 numbers. Turns out to be 200. Uh, 
200 plus 2. I have forgotten this. So it turns out to be 202. Is that correct? So let me write the answer 202. Why? Because 128 plus 64 plus 8 plus 2. Uh, considering all these things, it turns out to be 202 in a decimal. Is that okay? But I haven't yet considered the writing the fractional part. So let me consider them. So first I'll consider uh, 0. I'll multiply this with. This way we have considered 2 to the power uh, positive powers 0, 1, 2, 3. In this way I'll consider the negative powers. 2 to the power 0 is already done. So I'll not consider 0. Uh, next number is 1. But I'll consider 2 to the power minus 1. Correct? Similarly, I'll multiply the next digit with 2 to the power minus 2. I'll consider the next digit. I'll multiply this with 2 to the power minus 3. And I'll consider the last digit. I would multiply this with 2 to the power minus 4. Are you following? The next thing is, I just have to sum up the stuff. The way we have done, the same thing will proceed f further. I need to add up these things. So what is the answer I am going to get? So let me consider. 0 into 2 to the power minus 1. 2 to the power minus 1 is 1 by 2 into 0. Turns out to be 0 again. I need not have to consider this. Plus 1 into 2 to the power minus 2. What is 2 to the power minus 2? It is 4. A 1 by 4. Is that correct? 2 to the power uh, minus 2 can be written as 1 divided by 2 to the power 2 which turns out to be 4. 1 by 4. Is that right? So that is how we process. Uh, 1 by 4 turns out to be 0.25. Correct? 1 by 4 is nothing but 0.25. Similarly moving uh, further, uh, I have got 1 into 2 to the power uh, minus 3. What is 2 to the power minus 3? It can be written as 1 divided by 2 to the power uh, minus 3 can be written as 1 divided by 2 to the power 3. It is 1 by 8. What is 1 by 8? Uh, just make use of the calculator so that I can get the answer very easily. This is 1 divided by 8. Turns out to be 0.125. Is it correct? So let me write 0.125 plus the last digit. Uh, 2 to the power minus 4. So how do I write 2 to the power minus 4? 2 to the power minus 4 is nothing but 1 divided by 2 to the power 4 which is equal to 1 divided by 16. What is 1 by 16? So let me consider the calculator again. Uh, consider 1 divided by 16. Turns out to be 0 0.0625. Correct? So let me consider writing 0 0.0625. So again, I need to sum up all the fractional part and let me see what I'm going to get. So consider, let me consider the calculator again. I'll add up 0.25 plus 0.125 plus 0.0625 turns out to be 0.4375. Is that correct? 0.4375. So if I consider that, I will write 0.4375. That's what I am going to get at the fractional part. 0.4375. It's correct. So ultimately, the decimal equivalent turns out to be. So let me write the final answer as 2 uh, 202 at the integer part. 202. 0.4375. So this is the final answer in decimal fractions. So this is how uh, we convert a given binary fraction into its equivalent decimal fraction. Hope you people have understood. If there are any doubts, please let me know them onto the comment section. I would definitely address those doubts. Meanwhile, subscribe to our channel NG Classes for more videos on number systems. Till then, thank you everyone for watching.